Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to ask the honest question. Is the Batman a failure? Let's talk about it. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because it's just now grossing $700 million worldwide, and is domestic just cross 300 million right now if you guys already know about the previous batman movies which we don't count batman versus superman donald justice as a batman movie so we can't really we can't really put down because that's an ensemble cast movie that's not really a batman movie but anyway um the last movie which was the dark knight rises which grossed domestically 400 um 433 million and then um the dark knight grossed 533 million and the reason why i'm saying this is because i've been hearing i was hearing um from some art i saw some articles and hearing some rumors of like how warner brothers isn't that confident in the batman because you know like we've been saying the over reliance on batman they assumed that it would have been a billion dollar movie by now and it hasn't you know you saw as you saw how fast the dark knight the dark knight rises and even like movies like spider-man um the last two spider-man movies you saw how quick they were able to take over their domestic and their international box office and i think warner brothers look at something like that and trying to figure out like holy crap how we do a batman movie and we don't got billions you know and or the movie domestically just now getting to 300 to me that's that's kind of weird and the only reason why i'm saying that is because of how everyone was hyping the movie up and saying how great it is okay great if the movie was so great why is it still struggling or why did it struggle that long to get to 300 billion am i saying the movie's bad no i'm not saying the movie's bad that's not the, that's not the takeaway what i'm saying is think about it when you had a movie like batman vs man donald justice right um bad word of mouth kind of killed this domestic box office which only got like um 300 what 331 million right for domestically right and it grossed close to 640 i believe um internationally right so that was with bad word of mouth but what i'm saying is with good word of mouth which the batman has received why isn't why isn't the domestic or the international box office not increasing as fast as it should why is it why is it kind of struggling to get over that you know that realm because i was hearing pre prediction um hearing that warner brothers projections was like at least like 900 million for the movie um and domestically 500 it, well it should have been at 500 and with um with spider-man still making money um you know morbius came out whether it was good or bad it still made some money um sonic 2 is coming out and i think there's another movie i believe um i know dr strange is on its way and with good word of mouth the movie should have been a runaway success you know what i'm saying so i just have to wonder like hmm could wb have been correcting their predictions you know I, and that that's what i'm saying that's that's what i'm saying like maybe is it true that the the um the batmania might be a little too much maybe rebooting the batman so soon after having been athletic could have could have did a detriment to the character and i and I, I honestly want people to really think about that and then got nothing to do with snyder bros or snyder cultists whatever all that nonsense that y'all like to say like really be honest with yourself do you really th I really think that it's because of the whole the whole rebooting of Batman so soon. You barely let one Batman breathe before you're talking about, hey, let's do another reboot of a Batman series. Then, like I said, the costume designs was ugly. I mean, like, like I'm gonna be honest, the suit, the suit is fucking butt ugly. 
you know? And the actors and actresses that you've got to play the characters just don't feel like Batman and Catwoman and the rest of them. When 1966 Adam West TV series look better than current day 2022, you know, you fucked up. You, you ever hear that design, keep it simple, stupid? Keep it simple, stupid. That's all you got to do. I don't understand how you don't how you don't think about that kind of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Instead of overcomplicating it, you overcomplicated it. And for what? To try to be realistic, I guess so. But I just kind of find it interesting because you know some people want to pretend like, oh no, um, there's not there's not a people aren't tired of Batman and DC. DC loves Batman, and it seems like that's all they can sell. Well, yeah, it seems like they call that's all they can sell. But I think at the same time, I think people are actually getting tired of Batman, and maybe maybe that could be an after effect of why the movie isn't as a runaway success. Because after the the second week, after the second week of the Batman, I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard nobody talk about it. You know. And the only reason why I was talking about it because of all the nonsense that happened between um, Young Ripper, Young Ripper, um, Ryan Connell, um, Josie, and um, and Tristan. Like, that's what that's that's all I'm hearing. That was all I was hearing. I was just like, I, we got far. Oh, and Amazing Lucas, and all we got so far from the plot of the Batman. <laughs> That we're sitting up here talking about everything that's not the Batman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there were reviews. People were saying great things about it. But I don't understand why that didn't translate to runaway success. And maybe the Batman fatigue is as real as possible. Because it should have... I'm, I'm not saying that it doesn't... because. I know it's about to go to HBO Max soon, too. But even then, with um, Spider-Man No Way Home was was so great and it had so good good word of mouth that people were running to it. People were running to it. Less than two weeks that movie was was breaking records. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, hmm. This Batman movie isn't as as all of that like people say it is. Maybe it could have been a runtime. Maybe, like I said, because I know, I know, I did hear a lot of complaints about the movie just being so long. And from some of the scenes that I was seeing, I was like, <laughs> especially that Joker scene, <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> just, no, no, sir, no, sir. That movie was just. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I, again, I'm not saying the movie's bad, but. With scenes like that, no way, no way. <laughs> but I, I just kind of just wanted to kind of like ask a serious question. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, it's because I'm hating or whatever. No, because I would have got on here and gloated about it. But no, I, I just want to know like, do you think Warner Brothers consider this a failure right now? Because I think it's about to leave theaters, I believe, right? So, I don't know if it's going to be able to make that international, I don't know if it's going to make that billion that I heard, that I know some people want it to make, you know? Because I know, like I said, I've been seeing people, I haven't really seen people talk about it since the week of the movie and a little bit of a few days afterwards, after the week the movie was out. And then after, after that, they moved on. We, we moved on really quick and there were other movies hell people were still talking about Spider-Man at the time Spider-Man <laughs> so you know when you're still talking about Spider-Man and the Batman movie just came out priorities priorities have been have been messed up badly <laughs> but I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm just kind of saying I'm like Hmm, do you think they'll consider it a failure? I mean, I'm quite, I know it's not a failure, but what I'm saying is these studios exec expect so much, so much from these movies 
that this it, that even though it made um three hundred million dollars at the box office domestically and it made seven hundred million, it's still considered a, a closest failure for the studio because it didn't make back the money that I mean it didn't it didn't get to the goal that they had set for it. Just like that's why that's why you would consider Batman vs. Superman Donna just as a failure. That's why you would consider um, Man of Steel or Justice League or whatever as a failure because you set up there and wanted a billion dollar movie for each of your movies but you didn't put the time or the effort into it and it just doesn't make any logical sense that's not how any of this shit works that's not how any of this works at all you know but it is what it is um, I just kind of, honestly, I wanted to have this, this discussion, um, guys comment in the comment section, tell me what you guys think, um, why do you think that movie studios overshot themselves about how much a movie should make, and why, and do you think movies need to, movies in general need to stop trying to aim for a billion dollars, and just aim for making the budget back? I mean, as long as they make the budget back and they can at least make a, what, a, almost a 40% profit from it, you know, after paying off the actors and, and you can still get, if you can still get like a hundred million or 300 million from it or 500 million from it, you know, is it, is it that much of a failure? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe just like the DCEU, maybe this movie was self-sabotaged too. You know, I mean, WB has been known for self-sabotaging their own movies. And that's why Ann Cernoff is gone. Bye, bitch. <laughs> oh, you thought you thought you was going to stay alone. I told you you was going you was going to regret saying all that bullshit about the Snyder fans and DC um, fans. And we were going to go this way. Oh, OK, that's why you out of a job. Bye. <laughs> but anyway, tell me what you guys think. Comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.